Hi, I'm Mr. Pipsley and I'm glad to see you all here on this channel. If you're interested in hearing a story about zombies and how they took over the world, then you're in for a treat. But before I begin, I want to encourage you to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. By doing so, you'll be able to stay up to date with all the latest content and never miss out on any exciting stories. So sit back, relax, and let's delve into the world of zombies. I promise, it'll be a thrilling ride. Once upon a time, in a land not so far away, there was a world where plants had taken over. The world was overrun with giant flowers, trees that walked, and shrubs that had razor-sharp thorns. In this world, there was a group of zombie soldiers who had risen from their graves to fight against the plant uprising. These zombie soldiers were led by a group of zombie bosses who had retained some of their intelligence and were determined to defeat the plants. The zombie bosses had a plan to build a giant catapult that would launch potatoes, cucumbers, corn, and radishes at the plants. The potato, cucumber, corn, and radish were the main characters of this story. They were sentient vegetables who had been living peacefully in a garden until the plants started attacking. They were forced to flee and join the zombie soldiers in their fight against the plants. The potato was a tough spud with a thick skin that could withstand even the toughest blows. The cucumber was quick and nimble able to dodge attacks with ease. The corn was strong and sturdy, able to stand up to the plant's attacks. The radish was small and quick, able to sneak past the plant's defenses. The zombie bosses had instructed the zombie soldiers to set up traps and defenses around the catapult to protect it from the plants. The soldiers used bows to shoot arrows at the plants, and the catapult launched the potatoes, cucumbers, corn, and radishes. The battle scenes were chaotic and hilarious. The plants were throwing themselves at the zombie soldiers, trying to take them down. The zombie soldiers were using their weapons to fend off the plant attacks. The vegetables were flying through the air, landing on the plants with a satisfying splat. Despite the chaos, the zombie soldiers were winning the war against the plants. They had destroyed many of the plant spaces and were steadily pushing them back. The zombie bosses were ecstatic about the progress they had made. But then something unexpected happened. The plants started fighting back with their own catapults. The plants were launching pumpkins and watermelons at the zombie soldiers, and the zombie soldiers were caught off guard. The pumpkin and watermelon projectiles were too heavy for the zombie soldiers to dodge, and they started taking heavy casualties. The zombie bosses were at a loss for what to do, and it seemed like all hope was lost. But then the potato had an idea. The potato knew that if they could get inside the plant space, they could launch an attack from within and take out the catapults. The potato, cucumber, corn, and radish sneaked past the plant's defenses and made it inside their base. They found the plant's catapults and started launching the pumpkins and watermelons back at the plants. The plant's catapults were destroyed and the plants were thrown into disarray. The zombie soldiers took advantage of the confusion and pushed forward, decimating the plant's forces. The battle was won and the zombie soldiers emerged victorious. The zombie bosses congratulated the vegetables on their bravery and thanked them for their help in the war. As a reward, the zombie bosses invited the vegetables to a feast, where they ate delicious zombie brains and danced the night away. And so in the end, the war against the plants was won thanks to the bravery of a potato, cucumber, corn, and radish. It just goes to show that even the smallest and seemingly weakest vegetables can make a difference in the fight against evil. The party was in full swing with the zombie soldiers and vegetables celebrating their victory over the plants. The zombie bosses were handing out medals to the soldiers who had fought bravely in the battle, and the vegetables were regaling them with tales of their heroic exploits. The cucumber boasted about how it had dodged a barrage of thorns from a giant walking bush, and the corn bragged about how it had held up a falling tree long enough for the soldiers to hit out of the way. The potato, however, was feeling left out. It had played an important role in the victory, but nobody seemed to be paying it any attention. So it decided to show off its strength. The potato approached the giant zombie bosses and asked if it could demonstrate its incredible strength. The zombie bosses were skeptical but decided to humor the potato. The potato walked over to a table and lifted it up with one hand. It then proceeded to juggle several plates, glasses, and utensils with the other hand. The zombie bosses were impressed, and the other vegetables cheered. But then disaster struck. The potato lost control of the plates and glasses, and it went flying through the air, landing on the zombie bosses and the other soldiers. Everyone was covered in food and drink, and the party quickly turned into a food fight. 
The vegetables were throwing potatoes, cucumbers, corn, and radishes at the zombie soldiers, who were retaliating with handfuls of mashed brains. The zombie bosses tried to restore order, but they were hit in the head with a flying tomato. In the chaos, the catapult was knocked over, and a giant pumpkin fell out, landing on top of the zombie bosses. The vegetables and zombie soldiers rushed to their aid, but they were stuck under the pumpkin. The potato came up with another idea. It walked over to the pumpkin and started pushing it with all its might. The other vegetables joined in, and soon they had managed to roll the pumpkin off the zombie bosses. The zombie bosses were grateful to the vegetables for saving them, and decided to make amends for their earlier behavior. They offered the vegetables a place in their army, promising to treat them with the respect they deserved. The vegetables were honored and accepted the offer, pledging to fight alongside the zombie soldiers in any battles to come. And so the zombie soldiers and vegetables continued their party, celebrating their victory and newfound friendship. As the sun rose on the horizon, the party goers were tired and covered in food, they were happy. They had fought a hard battle, but they had emerged victorious thanks to their bravery and teamwork. And so the world was saved from the plant uprising, and the zombie soldiers and vegetables lived happily ever after, fighting against all the other weird and wonderful creatures that inhabited their strange world. As they continued their journey, the zombie soldiers and vegetables encountered more strange and dangerous creatures. There were giant spiders that could shoot webs from their eyes, slimy tentacled beasts that could swallow anything whole, and even mutant chickens that could lay explosive eggs. But the newly formed alliance between the zombie soldiers and vegetables proved to be an effective fighting force. The vegetables used their agility and unique abilities to distract and disorient the enemy, while the zombie soldiers used their brute strength and resilience to deal the finishing blow. One day, they encountered a formidable foe, a giant carnivorous plant that could shoot toxic pollen from its spiky tendrils. The plant had already taken down several smaller groups of zombie soldiers and vegetables, and it seemed unstoppable. The zombie bosses and the vegetable leaders held a meeting to strategize their attack. They decided that the best course of action would be to lure the plant into a trap and attack it from all sides. The potato came up with a plan to build a trap using some of the leftover supplies from the previous battle. They would use the catapult to launch a giant radish at the plant, which would hopefully distract it long enough for the rest of the vegetables to sneak up and attack it from behind. The plan worked perfectly. The radish hit the plant in the face, causing it to roar in anger and confusion. As it turned to face the radish, the other vegetables rushed forward, firing arrows and throwing vegetables at it. The zombie soldiers charged forward, swinging their weapons and bashing the plant's thick stem. The plant fought back with its toxic pollen, but the vegetables had anticipated this and had covered themselves in a special mixture of potato starch and cucumber juice, which neutralized the toxin. The battle raged on for several minutes, with both sides exchanging blows. The plant was tough but the zombie soldiers and vegetables were determined to defeat it. Finally, the plant let out a deafening shriek and collapsed out of the ground. The zombie soldiers and vegetables cheered in triumph, and the potato received a standing ovation for its brilliant plan. As they basked in their victory, the zombie bosses and vegetable leaders announced that they would be holding a feast in honor of the fallen soldiers and vegetables. The party would feature a variety of dishes made from the defeated plants, including a delicious salad made with the leaves of the giant carnivorous plant. The feast was a huge success, with everyone enjoying the food and drink. The zombie bosses and vegetable leaders gave speeches, praising the bravery and strength of their soldiers and the ingenuity of the potato. As the night wore on, the party started to get a little wild. The cucumber and the corn started a dance-off, with the other vegetables cheering them on. The zombie soldiers got into a friendly game of tug-of-war with the potato, and the radish challenged anyone who dared to a game of limbo. As the party reached its peak, the zombie bosses and vegetable leaders looked on, amused and proud of their new army. They knew that they still had many battles to fight, but they were confident that with their combined strength and cunning, they could overcome any obstacle. And so, the zombie soldiers and vegetables continued their journey, battling strange and dangerous creatures, and always standing by each other's side. They had formed a bond that would last a lifetime, and they knew that as long as they had each other, they could overcome any challenge that came their way. Well, the story has come to an end. I am sure you like this story and you will like it with pleasure. Also subscribe to our channel and be sure to leave your feedback in the comments under this video. See you in the next video.